Hey, it's the Morning Cryptos. It is day 89 of my 90-day challenge. And, uh, I don't know, I feel a little reflective, uh, a little reminiscent here. It's been a good time. It's been a good run. I want to thank my, uh, my producer, my mother, my father, my dog, my... Uh, I want to thank all the, all the little people that have just helped me stay on track for this whole time. And let's look at the let's look at the charts. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what's going on in the world of Bitcoin T today, right now. Yeah, morning cryptos. Yeah, this is about the worst intro I've ever done. Anyway, let's just I'll drink some coffee and you can listen to the music. How's that? better intro later ah just woke up just got my coffee made then my computer needed to be rebooted you ever have one of those days and then it takes an hour to reboot your computer it's just like what is going on with this computer and so anyway i'm here i made it i made it let's look at this bitcoin thing it looks uh like it's doing its thing kind of consolidating kind of a couple of days up a couple of days down uh okay but, you know, before we look at the numbers or the charts, let's see if there's any exciting news. No, that's not the news. Here's the news. Okay. So, Bitcoin 58.49. No surprise. You're getting used to that price, aren't you? That's the price, right? We, we begin to just acclimate to a new high price. So, and uh, nothing. 23 hours ago, highs on the radar. Bitcoin retakes 5,800 as prices edge up. That was that was here yesterday, right? And then what's the price of Bitcoin gold? Crypto traders still aren't sure. That was here yesterday too. In other words, no new news here. This is like this is a slow news day. But we do have a real bubble. Uh, Warren Buffett doubles down on Bitcoin. Huh, huh, huh. And everybody thinks they know what's going on, but nobody knows what's going on. That's the cool thing. That's why I can do my show every morning. Because I admit I have no idea what's going on. Let's find out. All these other people are trying to convince you that they know what's going on, but nobody knows what's going on because Bitcoin has never done this, and we've never had Bitcoin before. So how do we know what it's supposed to do? We don't. But let's look at the one-hour chart and see... What's going on? Yeah, so it's it's at its support level. That's all. All right, so it's, hang tough. Somebody mentioned there's a, a new fork coming, Bitcoin Silver, like in a day. Like, come on, people, can we stop doing the stupid forks? It's just they're they're the new the new scam. <laughs> it's like, oh, let's let's create a fork and pre mine it and get a bunch of publicity and make some money and then sell it all back into Bitcoin. We'll see how long the market puts up with that crap. All right, so in other words, nothing big happening with Bitcoin. Let's go through the list. Whoa, Bitcoin Cash. That's the one The one hour chart. Let's, uh, we have a little boost going on in Bitcoin Cash. Why is that? Because that's is that the hard fork we're all nostalgic for right now? You know... I wish these new hard forks were like Bitcoin, Bitcoin, bleh, Bitcoin Cash. Those were the good old days when a hard fork was a hard fork. I don't know. Who knows what's going on? But right now, it's trying to break through 366. Now we can look at the one-hour chart with some intelligence. Okay. So we have a, a nice little run-up going here. And it's looking like it's attempting to break through this other, this last little mini run-up. So that's good. There's life in the girl. Life in the girl. All right. It's a dash. A 
Dash keeps just doing what it's doing. And it's, uh, I think it's going to make a break for it at some point. I mean, we have a line. Pretty good line right here. We also have another one coming down. That other way. One of the things that has happened over these 90 days, yeah, I'm still bad at it, but I'm way better at drawing these lines on the charts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Dash is in this wedge formation, and uh, I think it's going to go up, but it could go down too. So, but I... I think Dash is so fundamentally sound. I mean, they, it's like literally you have Bitcoin and then you have a team of people that are just literally fixing everything and making something even better that that can change rapidly, right? The big criticism of Bitcoin has been how long it takes for the community to make any change because then they get all divisive and they get, it's like, it's, it's this mess, right? Whereas with an actual team of people who are all on the same side, you actually can get a lot done faster. And that's that's one of the challenges we have as we go into the decentralized age, right? If something's truly decentralized, it should hopefully work better, but in some cases it doesn't. Let's take a quick look at EOS. Still... Perking along there, that's good. Just keeping an eye on it. Um, Ethereum. What the hell is going on with Ethereum? Not much, evidently, but notice how it just kind of glues itself to this $300 price zone. It just stays right in that zone. Even though it's gone up, it always seems to come back to this $300 line. I mean, that's really kind of its place and that to me is like I want to I want to hypnotize ethereum I want it I want to hypnotize ethereum to let it know that it can it can be more <laughs> you can do it little ethereum you can do it so we have a bit of a line there depending on where we put it and we have a little you could call this, if you want, an up move. That's on the one hour chart, so you know, keep in mind that we do have higher bottoms, but they're not that much higher. And mostly it's a sideways range here. So interesting, okay. Let's quick look at IOTA. IOTA still got life in it. Let's look at Litecoin. And again, these are just the coins that I'm interested in and that I'm paying attention to. Mostly because I have money on some of them. On some of them. Money in some of them. I don't know. They are my money, somehow. All right, Litecoin. Let's get to the one-day chart. Sorry, I was looking at the one-day, the one-hour chart with IOTA, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. It's Friday. Okay. Maybe I should get some more coffee here going into the veins. Hmm. Come on, Litecoin. So Litecoin continues to kind of putz along here. Not putz along, putter along is the word I wanted. And, uh, yeah. Okay, not much. Sometimes you come and you look and there's nothing to really learn. You just see it's like not much happening. Volume's very low. It's kind of one of those moments where you're like, okay. Nothing going on, but then something does go on. So that's, to me, why these moments, while they are not as interesting to talk about, they're probably the key foundation for figuring out what's going to happen next. Because there are these movements and pauses. It's like music. That's what really kind of fills my brain. Is that these, these patterns, these charts are very much like music and there are pauses and movements and you know it's a wave form and uh, sometimes the volume's louder sometimes it's quieter right right now seems to be one of those somewhat quiet moments but we'll see something always changes right let's look at neo really quickly and i have looked into neo and it looks like a really good project it is not new it has been around for a while 
and they have, you know, they have a team and blah, 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 whatever. Okay. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Omise Go. What the hell is going on with Omise Go? Same thing. They're just hanging tight. They still have all this support. And on the $7 and yeah, seven dollars and eight dollar spots. Right now it's like right at eight dollars. So interesting. Okay. And Monero. Let's see what Monero's doing. Give us the US dollar. Still at sideways trading range. <clears throat> I had all these drawn nicely on the chart before I had to reboot my computer. But we have a nice sideways trading range in Monero. Just keep an eye on it. It's got to move. And when it moves, it's probably going to move fast. That's the thing is like all these sideways trading ranges, if you want to benefit from them, you might want to uh, put an order in. And again, this is hypnosis for me. This is me thinking about if I were to give advice to myself, what would I do? Um, it seems like Monero is going to go, right? So I don't know. I don't have a lot of extra right now because I'm, st I'm trying to stock up on Bitcoin. So that's really my big buy right now is Bitcoin. And it doesn't make sense, really. I mean, if you look at Bitcoin, why would I buy here? I tell everybody, don't buy at the top, right? But I've decided I can't tell if this is a top. I can't tell if it's going to go up or down. So I'm just going to buy 20 bucks every day, no matter what. Dollar cost averaging, dollar cost averaging, right? So if I'm doing that every day, I don't really have the 20 bucks to play with over here with Monero, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right, so let's look at, go over to Bittrex. Civic against Bitcoin is just kind of percolating down there. And again, I'm just keeping an eye on some of these things. Let me say go against Bitcoin. Perking along down there. Let's see Omisa go against US dollar tether. It's a relatively new thing, so it's not. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Is that looking good or not? <laughs> Quantum against BTC. Quick look at that. Again, people, this is just what I do every morning, and I just save it for you. So you can look over my shoulder while I'm doing it. It's not supposed to be great uh, entertainment, but I try to keep it a little lively for you. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Quantum is staying tucked down. So that's it. Let's just look over here at the volumes. Bitcoin Ethereum. Now, Bitcoin Cash is boosted back up. Zcash is suddenly way up. Litecoin is back down to five. Dash is in sixth. Then we have Ripple. Then we got Neo. Monero, let me say go. Quantum trading about 10 bucks and 29 cents. So yeah, okay. A day when not much is going on. So we'll just keep it short. And uh, we'll go back to Bitcoin. And uh, people, you got to have a plan. Some kind of a plan, right? Because there are days like this. These are the days that got me caught into Ponzi's. Because I was waiting for the first hard fork back in the end of July. And it seemed like nothing was happening, and I wanted something to happen, and I wanted to take control of my destiny, and I stumbled upon Control Finance, and BitConnect, and this thing called Ambus, and Microhash, and Bitcoin XL, and what are some of the other ones? I've, I've totally forgotten some of the dumbass Ponzi schemes I got caught in, and they all went belly up. It all went belly up except so far BitConnect still hasn't, but it's gonna. Um, and I think I have a hundred bucks on BitConnect. I should see if I can get it out, see what crazy amount of interest they've given me, and I'll just I'm gonna take that out if it's still there when I check it. So but that's it. Just a quick one today, people. I think I need a little break. I have some thoughts, I have some reflections that I think might be helpful and I need to kind of go back and summarize. Uh, so tomorrow's day 90 and I'm going to, I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to keep going. 
Uh, I, I kind of feel like I need a little vacation and just a little break from all the different projects I've been working on because this is just the tip of the iceberg. I have a, a full day of other things I'm working on. And uh, sometimes you just need a little break. And sometimes the cryptos are being quiet and not much is happening. And that is what's going on today. I think there's a lot of stuff coming down. We've got a bunch of hard forks. And uh, so that's it. That's it for today. In and out, quick, boom, slam, kajam, the doop a dop a day, bloop, blop, blop, blop. If you like this, I appreciate it very much. I appreciate you. And I'd love it if you'd subscribe, if you'd give me a thumbs up, if you'd click that little bell thing. And uh, I do check the markets all day throughout the day. And if there's something really exciting, I do make a little special report. And uh, there are some other special reports coming, so keep your eyes out for that. And I think it's time to start the music right now. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.